Now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to replace the Medigun beam with something else. And in this case, I'm replacing it with a, 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 another particle effect from TF2C. And more specifically, it's the Kreutzkrieg Medigun beam. And I'm currently importing the PCF files, which include the actual particles from their respective uh, directories. So once you have your two PCFC files, then you're ready to go. Go back to your TF2 game uh, in the particle editor mode. And uh, we're going to Control C, Control V, copy paste the particle we want from the TF2C uh, PCF file into the original TF2 Medigun PCF. And uh, the PCF names are really important. They have to match the names that are inside the VPK, the place we got these VPK uh, PCF files in the first place. If they don't match, it's not going to replace it. So you have to make sure that they match. And another thing you have to make sure is that uh, the particle that you're replacing, uh, the replacement has to have the same name as the original particle because otherwise it won't find it and you might even get like red crosses if you try to replace it and you don't have the particle that the game is looking for so to do that it's pretty easy once you have copy pasted your particle into your original tf2 uh, directory then you just copy the name of the original particle and you paste it um, into the modified or the replacement. But one important notice is that you have to delete the original particle before you rename the new one, because having the same particle with two names will uh, cause problems. And if you did that correctly, you should see the changes happen instantly due to the particle editor itself. But to make this permanent, you actually have to pack this custom PCF file inside a VPK. And that's really easy to do. You just have to take the PCF file with the, with the modified uh, particle and you have to put it inside a folder called particles. And then you put that folder inside another folder. And the, this, the last folder, it can be called whatever because that's going to be the name of your uh, VPK file, which goes into your custom directory. Now I'm just copy paste, uh, I'm actually control uh, X to cut it and paste. So it will remove the original folder from the particles folder. And uh, the, this is so that I don't get any residual files. So once you copy your folder inside the bin, uh, you just drag that folder inside the bin into the VPK executable and that's gonna like turn it into a VPK and this is the stuff you find in like Game Banana if you've downloaded custom content uh, this is basically that so if you followed these steps you made you just made your first custom content as well so you can upload that and who knows maybe even get popular and lastly I'm gonna show you it in game like I'm gonna join a public server just to see that it actually works. And one more thing for mappers, if you try to pack the PCF file into the map itself, it will carry on to the next map, so don't do it. But anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully you got something useful out of this. See ya!